everybody doing today? Good. Good. My name is Jordan. I, I, you guys can call me Jordan or Mr. Jukes. Who knows what I do? You guys know? Yeah. You're a lawyer? Yeah, holy cow. Yeah, you're exactly you right. You guys talk about mm -hmm. it. All right. So I hope I, I hope I don't disappoint you. I'm really, really excited to be here. I love what I do for a living. As a lawyer, I get to talk to people all day. Um, but before we begin, before we get started, we're going to set a couple of rules because lawyers love laws. All right. So one of our rules is going to be if you want to talk, you have to raise your hand. And if I call, the only the only way you get to talk is if I get a call on you, and then you have to tell me what your name is before you say anything. Okay. And I might I might have some treats in here if everyone follows the rules. You might get a treat at the end, okay? Does that sound good? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, you definitely don't have to say yes, sir. All right, so my name is Jordan Jukes. I am an attorney here in town. I've got two kids that are here at Arbor Springs, and I have two that have already been through, and both of them had Miss Fogel. So you guys are super lucky to have Miss Fogel as a teacher. And Miss Ellen Jonah, they're amazing. And, mm -hmm. and Miss Griffiths. I mean, you guys have two of the best teachers here in Arbor Springs. There's no doubt about mm -hmm. that. All right, real quick. So. Raise your hand if you think you know what a lawyer does. What's your name? Uh, I'm Ashton. Ashton, what's a lawyer do? I think what a lawyer does is uh, go to a court and like maybe help somebody out with a lawsuit or something. Yeah, that, that's actually a really good answer. So a lawyer is someone who represents a client when there is an issue dealing with the law. Okay, whether it's it's something uh, someone's been in a car wreck or someone has gotten a speeding ticket or maybe there's a dispute between neighbors or counties or governments and they say we need some help to figure out how to get beyond this. Did you have a question? Oh yeah, they often sue. Oh, what's your name first? Christian. Christian. They often sue people. Yeah, sometimes that, that's exactly right. Okay, so let's talk real quick, real basically. Well, first of all, has anyone met me before or have me come present in their class before? All right, good. All right, uh, let's talk real quick. What is a law in its most basic format? What's your name? Nolan. I Nolan, think what's a law? It's like you don't want to do it or else you go to jail or it's speeding ticket or you... Or yeah. you get handcuffed from... Right. Okay, so that's a good start. So if you break a law, Nolan says you have to get handcuffed or go to jail. Is that right? Yes. Do we have laws here in Arbor Springs? Yeah. Wait, we have... We have... Is, is, if you get in trouble here at Arbor Springs, you might have to get handcuffed if you break a rule? No. Yeah. What's the difference between yeah. a law <laughs> yes. and a rule? What's your name? Kennedy. I think that uh, laws are like interviewed in a rule because, yeah, like no one says you can get arrested for breaking the law, but if you break the rule, you might get punished. So it's just a bigger deal. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Uh, who else has, what's the difference between a law and a rule? Someone else. Yeah, in the back. What's your name? My name is Quinn. Quinn. Okay. And, um, so, uh, maybe if, like, a law might be something set up by like the government and Congress and the president. So those are very big like government rules. And when you have rules, they're more with like smaller communities or even like we have rules in the classroom. So if you that's that's a really good response. So laws maybe are set up sometimes by governments. Uh, maybe the city of where do we live? New Inn. In. What state do we live in? Georgia. Just making sure you guys know that. They don't let you graduate fifth grade if you don't know what state you live in. Did you know that? <laughs> you have to go back. That's one of the laws. What? <laughs> and what country do we live in? Good job. So we have laws in the city of Noonan, laws in the state of Georgia and laws in the in the country there's even international laws did you know that like if you build a submarine you can't just go to russia water you can't do that yeah. did you know that know. yeah so there's yeah. international laws there's laws over here shh, shh, shh. here in arbor springs we have some rules what are some rules that we have on arbor springs someone that hasn't raised their hand yet what's your name 
Oh, that's a good one. Why can we not run in the hallway? Jackson, why do we not run in the hallway? Because you could trip and hurt. Right. Or you could trip and hurt. Right. Yeah, right, right. Uh, okay, what's another rule that we have? What's your name? Um, use, uh, Zella. Zella, that's a pretty uh, name. Appropriate, um, yes, why do we want to use appropriate language? Okay. Zella. Um, because you can get in trouble for saying um, mean things to people, and if you say something mean to somebody, um, that's like really mean to them and stuff. So you want to just keep the words like nice and stuff. Yeah. And kind of like, it's kind of like bullying. Yeah. Yeah, we, we want to be kind to each other, right? Laws promote peace or tranquility and kindness and, and doing what's right, okay? Um, all right, what's one more law or rule that we have in um, Arbor Springs? And what's your name? Um, oh, sorry, say it again. Adelina. Adelina, that's pretty name. Yeah. So one of the other laws is we have to keep our hands to ourselves. We don't touch other people. We certainly don't hit other people, right? We be respectful and kind and courteous to each other. That's wonderful. You guys know all the laws here. Let me ask you another question. Has anyone, what's the name of the document where laws are kept or created? This is probably a middle school answer. I don't know that you guys are going to know this one. No one. I think it's a president. Okay, but I'm looking for a document that creates laws or rules. And again, this is this might even be a high school one, so I'm not sure you guys are going to know this one. Jackson, Congress? Okay, I'm looking for a document, though. The Congress is a group of people. The president is a person. They help make laws. Yeah. But when they make the law, where does it kind of go to? Christian. Yeah, that, that's that's good. So, um, do you guys remember? Have you heard about the formation of the United States? Uh, yeah. Okay. So the, the 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 forefathers, as we say, got together and they wrote a document. That so you with learned this with Miss Lang. I think you might be asking it in a way because you learned about the yeah. it, it might start with a C. Oh. Don't you know it out if you know what is it? My name is Scarlett in the Constitution. Yes, the Constitution. I was like, I know they know this, but know they're they like, is he asking the way they don't want it? Because that's yeah, what I'm, that's what I'm trying to get their brains together. Because I'm like, they know the amendments, they've learned. Yeah. No, I know you guys do a good job. But yeah. I'm, I'm, no, this not this not me, by the way. This is not me. I'm science and ELA. All right, so there's a Constitution. So in the United States, in our country, we think of the Constitution as that document that was written by Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton, and they wrote on it and they said, here are the laws that, that make our country what it is today. But is there a constitution here in Arbor Springs? No. no. Is there a constitution though? <laughs> yeah. what, remember, what, what's the definition of a, of a constitution? The definition of a a, a constitution is a set of laws and documents that people agree to be bound by. And so a constitution is not just something that sets up the United States government. It can be, did you know there's a Georgia constitution? There's actually a Georgia constitution. So I bet that there's some laws written down at Arbor Springs that say you can't hit people. You have to be nice. You can't say mean things to people. You have to be respectful. So even Arbor Springs has its own constitution. Do you believe that? Did you know that? No. That's why I'm so glad I do what I do. Okay, let's shift gears a little bit. So what happens if somebody has a law that gets broken? Can we talk about that for a couple minutes? Uh, yeah. All right, I need two volunteers here. Oh. Someone that hasn't volunteered yet. What's your name? Ryland. Ryland? How do you spell Ryland? R. Oops. Oh, Ms. Vogel, technical difficulties. This is awesome. Oh, no, then you have to pick a color. It's a few little steps, yeah. and then you start drawing what you've chosen your color. Now you can start. It's going to be in black right now. Yes, so, yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. All this technology that, uh, it, it, trust me, it took me some time. You guys it. have that you're so lucky. When I went to school, I had to walk uphill both ways into the snow. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. I I <laughs> All right, so Ryland, you live right here, okay? 
Did I spell your name right? No. Boy. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay, now this is really difficult. <laughs> Mom. All right, hey, let's just do it. Yep, and then it'll, and it'll write. You gotta but, touch it. Touch the board. Oh. No. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> it takes me to trust me. I have, you have to help me on this one too. See, but then it erases your box. You know, it's See, okay. Here's the thing. I don't know the rules of how this thing works, right? Yeah. So I'm just messing up everywhere. All right. So Ryland's house is here. Is it a two-story house or one-story house? It's one. Ryland, how do you spell your uh, name? All right. Start with an R, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And uh, who who is next to Ryland? What's your name? Parker. Parker lives right next to Ryland. This whole movie. You've seen me do this before. I haven't. Okay, good. All right, this is gonna be fun. All right, so Parker, how big is your house? Um, like the like three-story house including Ooh, the attic. With an attic included? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, so you got a three-story house here. Almost eighty-two. Eighty-two. Do that right with an attic. All right, and you've got, what are some, uh, what's your favorite tree? A big oak tree? Um, yeah. yeah, oak trees are awesome. We're gonna put a big like oak tree, tree here. Does that look like an oak tree? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. yeah. What's your favorite car, Parker? A car? What's your favorite car? What's your mom or dad drive? Honda Civic. Oh, those are awesome. So, Parker's got a Honda Civic here. I haven't got a license. How's that? What? Does that look like your Honda Civic? All right, good. Okay, so what happens here, Parker and Ryland are best friends, they're neighbors with each other. But one night, guess what happens? There's a big storm. And Parker wake up, wakes up in the next morning, and this big oak tree that is on Ryland's property, guess where it is now? On the car. This oak tree went like this, and hit Parker's three-story home, and it's now there. And it also hit his Honda Civic. Oh my goodness! And guess what? He can't get to school, and he's late. And he gets tardy, right? Uh, <coughs> luckily, you weren't in the Honda Civic, and you're okay. Mm -hmm. But Parker has a problem now, doesn't he? Can't she have a problem? <laughs> what is Parker's problem now? Um, what is Parker's problem now? Someone who has it. What's Parker's problem now? That he. He has his house and his car is ruined and can't do anything about it. Yeah, well, and did Parker yeah, do anything yeah. wrong to cause that tree to fall onto no. his property? No. Okay, all right. So Parker comes to Mr. Jukes and says, Mr. Jukes, I don't know what to do because I like Ryland, but her tree fell and hit my house. Mm. And now I got tardy because I went to school. <laughs> you got that, Parker? Yeah, so she should be in jail. No, 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 no. Did that's she make the tree fall? She didn't, she yeah, didn't do yeah. it on purpose, right? Right. <laughs> so there's one question I think I can ask Parker. Because because what, what because I know Ryland. Ryland's really nice. And Ryland didn't do anything to cause her tree to fall, right? On her property. Okay, shh, shh. remember our rules? So the tree fell from her property into Parker's property. And now... Now he's got a problem. Yep. She didn't cut the tree down, did she? No. What's one question that I can ask Parker to determine who pays for the damage caused by the tree falling? Who did it? Well, we know who did it, right? What happened? The storm. I mean, did, did anyone? Yeah, right. It was a storm. No one came out and pushed it, right? No one chopped it down. Mm -hmm. What's What's one question I need to ask? Parker, one question, and I know all the answer to this problem. What question is that, do you think? Uh, Real quick, Jackson. Who has to pay? Mm, that's, what, that's what they're asking me about. Uh, they're, they're coming to me, they're saying, Mr. Jordan, I need a lawyer to help me out because I don't know what the laws are because this tree fell and, and, and hit my car, so who's at fault? And he says, I didn't do it. She says, I didn't do anything, the tree just fell. So what question, think about this. This is what lawyers do. Lawyers think about the Constitution, the set of laws that govern us. And we say, okay, if something's happened, what does the law say that we need to do in order to fix the problem? That's what lawyers do. So what question would I want to ask Parker to know who's, who has to pay for the, 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 uh, the car or his three-story house with an attic? Real quick. I, I'm almost out of time. You should ask. No, but that's a really good answer, uh, question. What do you think? Whose property was the tree on? 
We know what property of the tree on, but that's actually a good, that's, that's getting closer. We know it was on Ryland's property, right? One more guess. It can't be. One more guess. I went to law school for three years to figure the answer out to this question. So if you guys get it, I'm going to be really impressed. One more guess. What's your name? Um, Cohen. Cohen, what do you think? What question would I ask as a lawyer to Parker to know whose fault it is if the tree falls? Take a guess. Um, okay, that's fair. I, I'd be surprised if any of you know, but I'm going to ask your teachers because they are really smart. <laughs> Come on, we did the ISCLA. Let's see, because I, I thought the property one was pretty good there. Um, no, don't. You guys didn't go to I was going to ask here. if they're insured. That's a really good question. Yeah, I that was have, what I was going to ask. ask that. <laughs> <laughs> But here's the thing, that that's not... How much damage was done? All right, all right, that's good. I'm we didn't go to law school, school no, so we didn't. No, obviously you've never dealt with this before, which no. is fantastic. So the question that I would ask Parker, I'd say, well, Parker, I need to know one thing. Was that tree, something about the tree, uh, was the tree alive or dead? What? What? What's the truth? That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. Taking care of it. Yes, Miss Vogel is exactly right. Did everyone hear that? No. Oh my yeah. God. If, it, if the tree was had strong roots, was a good, healthy, live tree, that's not Ryland's fault. But if the tree were old and dying and needed to be taken down. Yeah. That's exactly right. Does that make sense? Isn't that kind of cool? Yeah. So if Parker says this was an old tree and there was no limbs on it and those tree limbs had fallen and hit my car before and I told Ryland, hey, you got to take that tree down because it's going to fall and hit my house. Then I'm going to say, Ryland, we're going to go take her to court and, and get her insurance to pay for this. And her insurance will actually pay for that. Because they'll say, yeah, Ryland probably should have taken a tree down that was near someone else's house. And if she knew or had reason to know that it was going to fall, then she probably needs to take care of it, right? That's what we do as neighbors. We want to take care of each other and don't touch each, each other's uh, property and, and be nice to each other, right? Yeah. And so this, this, this actually happens pretty often. But guess what? If the tree was healthy and alive and it was full of leaves and it was growing... Then Ryland had no notice. She didn't know it was going to fall. And we call that something like an act of God, where just something, a storm caused something to fall down and to break. And there's no, it's no one's responsibility. That's why we have insurance. Isn't that kind of cool? All right. So um, let me, I have maybe one or two minutes left. I want to know what questions you guys have about lawyers or what we do. Any questions that you guys have? And Let's I want start. to remind you to have good questions that he hasn't already given us the answers to. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mr. Christian, fire away. Yeah, that's a good question. The, the, his question is, do lawyers always sue people? And the answer is no. There's a lot of different lawyers out there to do a lot of different things. Some people help out with bankruptcy. I have two lawyers that work in my office that just help people who've been charged with crimes in court. Like, and, and they say, I didn't do it, I need, I need help. And then I have two other lawyers that just help if people get in a car wreck or, an, or a tree falls on their property or something like that. That was a really good question. There's a, a lot of like state legislators and politicians or lawyers. A lot of lawyers help to close on your home if you go buy a home or, or look at a contract or something like that. That was a really good question. Yeah, what's your name? I'm Landon. Landon, what's your funny. question? Oh, that's a really good question. A ballpark, right? Yeah. You just divulge your entire um, finances. Just yeah. you, what could a lawyer pay? Every lawyer gets paid differently. There are some lawyers that, that don't get paid at all. But we call what they do pro bono, which is Latin for, for basically for free. And some lawyers charge a lot of money, like, you know, doing, uh, uh, if, if, they, if they help build the Brave Stadium and they help put together all the, the real estate things there. So lawyers can make all different types of money. There's all different types of lawyers. It's kind of like artists. Some artists get paid a lot of money to do a big thing. And some artists just stay at home and do what they like to do because it makes them feel good. Yeah. 
One more question, and we probably got to go. It's someone that I haven't heard from. Well, is it Annalita? Adelina. What if someone, like, say someone stole I'm not sure what you're asking. Like, even if someone did it and is guilty, would you, would a lawyer still help them? Oh, yeah, that yeah. That you meant, Adelina? Yeah, that's a really, really good question because our, our um, professional responsibility, our code of ethics and what we're supposed to do says that we are to zealously advocate for whoever our client is. So if you say, Mr. Jukes, I want you to represent me and I know I did it, but I shouldn't go to jail for uh, six months. I only want to go to jail for one week. I will go and I help negotiate with the judge the lowest sentence or punishment that I can for you and tell them why you really, even though you admit you did it wrong, maybe you just pay a fine or something instead of going to jail. That's a really good question. So let, let me let me finish by sharing one other thought with you guys. And I do have some tootsie rolls and things. Sure, mm -hmm. we love tootsie rolls. Mm -hmm. Pre-lunch, pre is that all right? Or well, maybe I can give them, there you, you want to count them out? If, if you guys do that. Let me share one thing with you guys real quick. Let's say, let's do one more example, then I gotta go. One more example. Let's say that, uh, what's your name again? Ashton, and what's your name? And Caleb, or, or you guys like to play basketball? And you guys, uh, Miss Vogel lets you out of, the, uh, out of the classroom, and you run outside the classroom, and you guys are both going through the, for the basketball. And you're going together, and you go, and you hit each other, and you fall down. And Ashton and Caleb are like, oh, my shoulder. And you stand up. Whose fault is that? No, neither. neither. Both of them. What? Both of them. The basket. The basket. The basket. The Sometimes the best thing to do is just do what? Walk away. Yeah, to stand up and say, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean I didn't mean to do that. Um, and, and, and it probably was no one's fault, right? Just an accident. So sometimes what I always encourage you guys to do is to be the better person. To be uh, courteous and kind to people to do what Jesus would have you do, right? And say, hey, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me for that? That's always the best way to do, okay? And that means there's going to be less lawyers and, and we all follow the law, right? Um, I'm thankful for you guys uh, letting me come here and, and be a lawyer in front of you guys and show you a little about lawyers. I love what I do. I really, really do. And if everyone got along together, guess what? I wouldn't even have a job. But I'm thankful for the job that I do have. But, but ultimately, remind me, Remember to be kind and courteous to each other. That's what's most important in life. Thank you very much for letting me come uh, here. You want me to let them just come pick one, and then we'll send the rest with you, because you're taking this to all your friends, Yeah, I'll, right? I'll just go. So okay, so what do we need to say to Mr. Hey. 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 You hey. totally had everybody engaged, and now, I mean, you know, for real, some of our friends play lawyers oh, on the yeah. playground. So we have some people that are already like, yeah, they're going to say, hey, maybe Mr. Jukes will hire me one day. Yes. Because I'll give a great interview with all this amazing vocabulary yeah. and good stuff. So thank you so much. So much and then I just